how are you taking it so far? Well, it's great. It's a great adjustment. My teammates make it easy for me, to be honest. They're great guys. We got veteran guys. We even got young guys that, you know, would help me out with the system. And Coach Dickel, you know, he's taking his time with me. Uh, you know, Coach, Coach Mark, he said that, you know, with Jason out for the he expects the ball to be a lot in your hands. Are you prepared for that challenge? I'm definitely prepared for that challenge, and I mean, uh, I really appreciate Coach for having the confidence in me to give me that big of a role, because Jason's a huge part of our team, and he's our leader. We go wherever he goes, that's for sure. And, you know, for him to put that responsibility upon me, all I could do is just do my best. Henry, how was the adjustment uh, with the team, the system? Uh, it's a great system, first of all, and second of all, the coaches, the, the management, the players, they did a great job of, you know, helping me out and to integrate into the role that they want me to be in and into the system. So each and every day we're learning, getting better, and, you know, working out the kinks into it. Having veterans in the team, how would that help you uh, moving forward? Uh, it's huge. Like I said, um, most of these guys I looked up to. Uh, Harvey, the other day we were talking, uh, I used to ride the bus from Paranaque all the way to Global City to just watching practice, talking text. Uh, him, Jimmy, Willie Miller, all those guys. So just having these guys on the team, uh, Jason and Jay Wash, man, it's great. I can just pick their brains and, you know, it's surreal for me to put on a jersey right next to them. You're having a big role here in Anna mentioned and with Jason out. Uh, how are you taking that challenge? Well, right now we want to keep the boat headed to right, towards the direction they were. You know, try to keep winning. I understand we lost our last game, but we want to continue to build and grow and get better. How about going for the title now with um, TNT on top, so what can you say about that? Well, once the playoff starts, it doesn't matter anyway, replacing. So right now we want to get better and get, like I said, get integrated to the system, get more familiar into, you know, how my teammates play and just trying to help their job be easier for them because it's hard enough to, you know, try to create and do all that stuff. And I, I really believe that they, these are great players, great shooters, very talented. Talk about uh, on court, like offensively, the difference between uh, playing in a system with Coach Park, where shooters, there are shooters all around, and you know, compared to that with uh, Blackwater. Blackwater is more of a lot of screens. This is more staggered screens, shuffles, and really more reads in a sense. So the game is quick, and you really have to have knowledge of the game to make those quick decisions and reads. So seeing that the game is you know, quick, uh, have you adjusted to the pace that quickly? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I say, each and every day you get more integrated to the system, and uh, I feel like Coach wants the thing that he likes about me. Is I can adjust to you know multiple positions, in different situations. Uh, defensively, uh, TFB has been a bit in a bit of a struggle defensively, although they're, you know, they're just beating opponents by outscoring them. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Coach Mark said that you have the potential to be a terrific defender. Uh, how are you going to approach that? And you know. To get that potential. Well, most of my life, that was my role anyway, <laughs> to be a defender. So, I mean, it's just really awakening up another side of me to where, like, I got to go back to. Uh, like I said, when I step into this league, the BPA, I wanted to be the best two-way guard here. I want to be able to play offense and defense. And, you know, this gives me opportunity to showcase more of my defensive side into guarding um, different players. Can you share some uh, short-term and long-term goals with you? Right now, short-term, just really get integrated to the system. The long term is always, you know, winning a championship and continue to build upon that foundation that we have. You know, we have young guys and we have veteran guys. Just continue to keep up the mix together. Yeah, you're playing here with uh, Mark. How do you feel about him? With Diggs? Yeah. Oh, he's cool, man. You know, he, he helped a lot in the transition and, you know, he was here first. So, first day, he really helped me out on, you know, the plays and knowing where to go. And really, like I would say, he's just a great friend. Very about the uh, book of the year. Uh, with you in TNT now, you have a chance, have you have a chance now. So well, like I said, you know, accolades and stuff like that, it'll happen. But at the end of the day, I'm just here to try and help my teammates get better, help get there towards the end. Like what Coach Jimmy always said, just give us a chance to be there at the end. It's just the most important goal right now. So that's more on what I'm focused on. At the end of the day, if it comes, it comes. Because like I said, this rookie class is great. Great rookie class. I mean, I'm sorry to hear about what happened to um, Bollock, man. He's a great player. I hope he heals up and gets back on the court and, you know, gets back to 110%. CJ's a killer. He's doing well. He's young. He's hungry. And, you know, we got a lot of guys this year that deserves to be. So, you know, whatever happens, 
It happens, whoever gets it. You never brought the first demo, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, never. So what was you said about that? Great team, great team for sure. Um, I guess I got the task of guarding Justin again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Most likely. Um, got my hands full, and like I say, Coach Tim does a great job with those guys. You know, the crowd favorite for sure. Their fans will definitely be there, ready to support. I know the TNT fans will come there to support too and be ready. And like I said, it'd be a great game. Uh, a big first game for sure. So I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. for it. You get that fair chance of uh, getting back at them. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm one. I'm one one with them. <laughs> so I got them my first conference, and then second conference they got me. So hopefully they'll you know, get another chance to get another win. But like I said, at the end of the day, the most important thing right now is about gelling with the team and you know, really getting everybody comfortable playing with each other. You pick up anything from last game that you could have played since you played the last game that you played with back for Oh, uh, definitely a lot, you know, um, just a lot of input in the sense of how he never guards me and, you know, how they pick and choose who they want to really force people to other people to score. Yeah. So on this team, uh, we have a great team. We have a bunch of shooters, great scorers, and, you know, they, Coach Tim will definitely do a good job of, you know, uh, putting his schemes together. You know, just a slight question, because in Blackwater, you know, there were nights where you weren't able to score the ball, you know, as much as you wanted, like, you know, you had to probably sub par shooting range. Do you think there will be, you know, less of that since you're surrounded with more talent that can ease the pressure of the team? Oh, definitely. Like I said, just uh, them being on the court with me is great. They they make my job easier. I want to make their job easier, too. And, you know, my job here is to be a playmaker. Like I said, I wasn't really just a, a scorer at heart. No, for me, I'd rather just get the win and make everybody look good. That's cool with me. So for me, I just want to do that for my team right now because I know they can knock down shots. They're great shooters.